Today's video is all about Louis Vuitton's latest release, the Lock Me Oxford bag. If you haven't seen this bag yet, it basically looks like the Pochette Matisse's sophisticated older sister. This bag has not even been released yet. It launches in two days after I'm posting this video, but even though I haven't seen the bag in person yet, I am obsessed. I have all the product specs, product photos, and even some modeling shots from Louis Vuitton client advisors. Let's take a look at it together. I'll tell you all the info you need to know, and then I want you to tell me, are you as obsessed with this bag as I am? If you're new here, welcome. This is Lula LV. I'm an avid luxury lover, particularly of Louis Vuitton, which is the topic of today's video. I also like to make smart decisions with how I spend my money, as I'm sure you do too. That's why in my videos, I like to share advice you can actually use to help you make smarter luxury shopping decisions. If you like that type of content, I hope you will subscribe and join me every Wednesday and Friday for new videos. So let's get on talking about the new bag from Louis Vuitton, the Oxford. I'm also going to be comparing it to the Pochette Matisse because that is one of Louis Vuitton's most popular bags. Full disclosure, I do not own a Pochette Matisse. I have the Coach Cassie and I own this in two different colors, white, I have another one in black, and this bag is the reason why I've never purchased the Pochette Matisse. I've tried it on in store multiple times, but I never bit the bullet and bought it because this bag is the same exact size and shape, and I already own two of these, so take what I have to say with a grain of salt, but I am really familiar with Louis Vuitton bags, so I think I can still do this topic some justice. The Oxford is launching on July 28th. It's coming in three different colors, grige and noir. These will both be permanent colors. There's also going to be one seasonal color at launch, and this is cognac. This is the color that I am obsessed with. I think it's a gorgeous, rich, warm, neutral color. Cognac will be available for five months, so you should be able to order this bag in this seasonal color through the end of 2023. This will be priced at $3,050, which I think is actually a fair price for a new Louis Vuitton release. Let's look at some photos of the new Oxford bag and we'll compare it to the Pochette Matisse. Let's talk first about what's the same between these two bags. They have exactly the same organization. They both have three interior compartments. They both have an external pocket on the back of the bag. This is a zip pocket on both the Pochette Matisse and the Oxford. They also both have a simple top handle and a long adjustable removable leather crossbody strap. Those are the things that these bags have in common. Here's what's different between the two bags. First and most apparent is the material. The Pochette Matisse is available currently from Louis Vuitton, available in canvas, in monogram print, as well as reverse monogram. It's also available in emprunt leather in a few different colors. It may be available in a few other different colors in other markets, but that's what's available right now in the United States. The Oxford bag is part of the Lock Me line, so this will not be available in emprunt leather or canvas. This is available in just a plain pebbled leather. I believe the Oxford leather is a calfskin, but there's no monogram print on the Lock Me Oxford bag. It's just a plain leather. The interior material is also different. The Pochette Matisse just has a plain fabric lining. The new Oxford bag has a microfiber lining, which I think is a little bit of an upgrade. Even though it's not leather lined, I think the microfiber lining is a nice upgrade from the plain fabric lining in the Pochette Matisse. Of course, because this is in the Lock Me line, the hardware is also different. The Pochette Matisse uses the classic S-Lock that we see on a lot of Louis Vuitton bags. 
This S-lock can be quite a hassle to use, particularly if the bag is not full. It can be quite difficult to get the S-lock to close. You really have to push in on it to close it. It also does tend to scratch fairly easily. The Oxford bag has a lock me uh, turn lock style clasp. This I think will be a little bit easier to use. The Coach Cassie also has a turn lock. And while it can be a little bit more difficult when the bag is closed, you do have to really push it in and then twist the lock. I do think the turn lock overall is a better option than the S lock. Another difference between these two bags is the addition of a gold chain on the Oxford bag. So you have two different strap options. You do have the adjustable removable leather strap. You also have a chain option, which you can wear with or without the leather strap. So it's a nice shoulder length. And I believe the gold chain strap is also removable. So you could also use it on other bags. Finally, the last difference between these two bags is the size. So I will put the exact dimensions on screen, but let's take a look here at the Coach Cassie. This is exactly the same size as the Pochette Matisse. It's approximately nine and a half inches in length, about seven and a half inches in height, and about two and a half inches in depth. The Oxford is slightly smaller. It's about one inch less in length, one inch less in height, but it's about, I believe, one inch more in depth. So it's a little bit wider, but overall smaller. I actually think that's a great size in between the Pochette Matisse and the Pochette Matisse East West, which is the next smaller size in the Matisse line, especially if you are petite or small framed. The Pochette Matisse might be a little bit big on you, so I think the Oxford is a great, great option. It's still big enough for everyday use. You can still fit a decent amount in it, but it is slightly smaller than the Pochette Matisse. So let's put the dimensions on screen. We'll take a look at them now. Here's everything side by side, including the strap drop lengths. Feel free to screenshot this. And the prices, as I stated earlier, the Oxford is 3050 US dollars compared to the Pochette Matisse in leather that is $2,840 so we're talking about a $200 difference and for the upgraded leather the upgraded lining material the addition of the chain strap I don't think $200 is a bad price it is pretty fairly priced for Louis Vuitton. And again, the Oxford will be available in three different colors when it launches, black and grige. It will also be available in cognac. Cognac is a seasonal limited color and that will only be available for five months. So it should be available to purchase through the end of 2023. Black and grige are two permanent colors. And of course, if the Oxford sells well, it's always possible that Louis Vuitton will introduce this bag in other seasonal colors in years to come. I am absolutely obsessed with this bag. I'm a little bit conflicted about it because in terms of creativity, I think there's really almost none. They took an existing bag that's really popular, the Pochette Matisse, and just added the hardware on it and the material from their Lock Me line. So they created a new bag, gave it a new name, the Oxford, but it's basically the Pochette Matisse. There was not a lot of creativity that went into designing this bag, so I'm not really that impressed with it from that standpoint. However, I really like the end result. I think it looks grown up, it looks sophisticated, it's not as casual as the Pochette Matisse, but you can still dress it up or dress it down. I love the fact that it comes with two different strap options. So you can use the gold strap if you wanted to dress it up. You can also use the gold strap just as decoration when you're using the crossbody strap. Even though I'm really not impressed with the amount of work that went into this new bag, 
I think the end result is really good. I'm really obsessed with it. I'm not getting it right away because there's another seasonal color coming out, the Wine Empreint collection. I mentioned this in my July new releases video, so I'll link to that in case you missed it, but I do also want a bag from the Wine Empreint collection, and it's going to be really popular. The bag I want, I think, is going to probably sell out. So I'm actually going to get that bag first, and then hopefully towards the end of this year, maybe November or December, get the Oxford, as long as I don't hear about any quality issues with that bag. And I don't know, nothing else in life comes up and I can still get it. That's my plan as of now, but I want the cognac color. So if I get it, it will be this year at some point. If you have this bag or if you've gone into store and tried it on, please comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. I would love for you to share. So that's my opinion on this bag. Of course, it's sight unseen because it hasn't been released yet, but that's my opinion based on what I know about Louis Vuitton bags. I hope you'll join me in the next video. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.